Hello future star citizens, it's Geo here and today we're going to be going over starter ships and which one you should start off with in the verse. Be sure to use the link or code down below. When you sign up today, you will get a free 5,000 UEC, which is in-game credit to buy armor, ships, or guns, or whatever else you may want to buy in the verse. Okay, so the first place we're going to look is at the Mustang. Now, when I first backed this game, there was really only one option starter ship, and that was the Aurora, a.k.a. Uh, the Space Cockroach. Um, that is the ugliest ship in this game to me. So just looks alone. Uh, the Mustang is better. But we're going to go over each variant, uh, what they do, and how each one really looks. They pretty much all look the same inside, except for the Mustang Beta, which will be taken out for a flight test. And that one is the probably the most messed up one in the hangar right now. This is PTU, which uh, is, a, is a test environment. So it's going to be a little wonky, but you guys get the point. Um, yeah, seats missing and everything. But yeah, it's blue and... We'll use this later on to go fly around. That's really the exploration variant of the Mustang Beta. Um, now, this one is the Mustang Alpha. Basically, this one does cargo. It has no back area like the Mustang Beta. Um, you get this instead. You get like a little box, and this is where your cargo will go. And that, um, the one behind it, is the same thing. This is an Alpha. This is just a Citizen Con edition. Just the skin is different. Let me go back around and show you. Uh, there goes the logo. I don't know if you could buy these anymore. So, yeah, pretty much the same. You can't buy these anymore, unfortunately. Pretty sweet looking, though. Um, now, the one I have, personally, is this one right here, the Delta. Now, I only have this one because I already have, um, you know, my, my first starter ship was, well, it's not really a starter ship, but kind of like mid, was an Avenger. Um... But this is basically just combat. Um, you know, I really wouldn't get this one, to be honest. I mean, I, I got it because I like the green. And I have other ships as well. But if you're starting off the verse and this is your only ship, I, I really wouldn't. I really would stay away from this one. Because, um, you know, fighting with this, this is basically a, a, a glass cannon. Nothing in the back. They got um, extra missiles, more guns. But, yeah, as far as PvP, you may get... Make it kind of washed in there. I know there are some pilots that'll tell you, like, oh, I can fight pretty good in that, but all right, so whatever. Um, then you have the Mustang Gamma. Now, this one is the racing variant. It's pretty fast. This is another one I wouldn't, I mean, I don't see this one beating um, a Miss Grazer or an M50 or a 350R. So this one may be a waste as well, um, but it's cool. It is going to be a fast little ship. You want to get around quickly. Um, and this one is the same thing. The only difference is the skin is red. I love this red. I'm kind of jelly. I don't have one. But um, it's red because, as you can see on this side, it is AMD. So AMD was like uh, in partnership with uh, Star Citizen for a while. So both the same ship, just different colors. So we're going to take one of these bad boys out for the flight and show you guys the view. And this is pretty much a ship I use all the time even even though i probably have like 30 or 40 plus ships and i still use use this ship all the time it's one of my favorites all right so we're just waking up rising and shining in our ship right now it's early in the morning about eh, five o'clock in the morning we're gonna get out of our bed do a little role play with you guys <laughs> but this is the back of the mustang beta now the other Mustang variants do not have this. You get a little little kitchen, a little stove. You got your bed, of course, which is a huge thing. If you guys didn't see uh, the options pop up, it had log off, because there's going to be persistence in the universe if you didn't know, and you'll be able to log off in your bed, and your ship will after you log off, your ship will be up for a little bit, but then it'll um, despawn. And you'll be safe. And we have a little shower back here because you got to wash your ass. Got to shower you get your shit on a little combo going on so we're looking good we'll go ahead and sit on it so you guys can see uh oh well guess can't do a third person from over there all right took our little shark let's get up out of here all 
All right, it is a very early morning. Check it outside. We're around the forest doing some exploration, looking for some junk or some new artifacts. Let's enter the pilot seat. Let's go outside and see how bad the weather is while exit the ship. See how it's feeling. A little windy out. And man, I just I just love this ship. This this is just so so cool. Check the world out. Got some vegetation going on. There's a whole junkyard stuff. What is that? Like some kind of monolith or something over there. So we're up and at him early in the morning. Let's go for a ride. Show you guys the view from this thing. It has one of the best views in the game uh, out of most ships. All right. Ready for takeoff. Launch complete. Ooh. Now the wings fold up, which is another, you know, plus because if you're, uh, say if your buddy has like some type of, uh, you know, one of the bigger ships where you could actually land these on, you could fold up and you could put a couple in there. Let's go ahead and put the landing gear up so you guys can see it. Sometimes it's a little, a little buggy. Still in alpha, so keeping that, keep that in mind. There we go. All right, let's go check some stuff out. What well, the beta? This is what you'll be doing. You'll be exploring, checking stuff out. It's got a little giddy up to it. Check this out. Glad you guys are getting to see the early morning of Huston. Got a couple guns. Nothing too much, not really packing a huge punch like the Delta would. Proximity alert. Front. Ooh. Look at all those trees. This ship is just beautiful. I'm glad you guys get to see it kinda in the dark or early in the morning. Um, with the lighting. give you guys a little view of Hurston. Now, if you guys see that up there, I'm trying to see what, what planet is that? That is one of the moons. That is Ariel. You can actually travel to that ship. I mean, that planet. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can actually plan it. Uh, geez, I'm just, I'm so mesmerized. This is crazy. You can actually travel to that planet in this ship right now. You would just have to break atmosphere and you could go, go to it. Just like how you used to be able to do in No Man's Sky where you kind of still can, but on a, on a whacker scale. You could go visit that planet. Let's go down a little bit. So we get a nice close look at Lorville for you. I got so much, like, just so much beautiful room in the cockpit. You're not going to find too many awesome ships with a good view like this. Probably why this is my go-to. And, you know, we're going we're gonna to travel to that planet just for shits and giggles. If you guys want to stick around, I understand. But if you haven't, thank you for checking out the video. But we're, we're definitely going to check that video out. So you, uh, I'll show all the people that uh, we ain't bluffing. We can visit these planets. It's the real deal. Here goes some junk and stuff. This is a very messy uh, planet, Hurston is. Ooh. 
Just a quick fly by her, and then we going in the atmosphere, baby. Uh oh, we gotta watch out for this fly zone. Now you do not want to go in this fly zone. With all my beginners out there, that right there is a big no-no. Want to stay kind of a little bit high. See those little uh, light-up markers? That's a good indication uh, indicator too. Well, we got to uh, catch Hurston early in the morning. These guys get to see the lights and stuff. Don't want it going down. Now, the new atmosphere model... Um, you guys are going to want to keep in mind that uh, with the wings and stuff, there's actually going to be drag and lift. And this also has wings, so that's another plus that the Aurora does not have when it's going to be flying in atmosphere. Yeah, everyone compares this place to like Blade Runner style stuff right here. It is freaking cool. All right, guys, we're going to go to the atmosphere. We'll cut it, but I want I want everyone to see there ain't no magic going on. This is this is the real deal. Is the sun coming up? Let me see. It looks like it's about to get bright. Would you guys just catch some of that sunrise? This is so beautiful. I never get sick of looking at this. Just never. I think we're just about good. I gotta go a little higher. Yeah, we gotta go a little higher, guys. Sun pop out. <laughs> yeah, planets usually take a little longer than the moons to break atmosphere. Looks like we're getting ready to break it though.
Hope you guys can hear some of the beautiful music in this game. It's in game music. There's another ship dropping by us. Okay, no, it's not. That was light on my wing. I'm kind of glad we're doing it so you guys could see how much, how long it takes to, to break atmosphere. Oh, yeah, these guns are kind of messed up too. They're not pointing uh, frontwards, or backwards. Look, we, we broke atmosphere. I didn't realize usually the uh, right, there goes Ariel right there. Usually there's a the flame. I guess that's only when you break in. Quantum travel engaged. Got there, the planet's back there that we left. Uh oh. This one's gonna be real quick to break an atmosphere. Alright. Show you guys the how it looks breaking in. Get a little wind going across. There you have it. I showed you guys. You can see it. You can go to it. <laughs> it's real hot on this planet as well. You see, I just sometimes I, I'm sitting here making a video. I forget I was making a video. I just I'm just having fun, just playing. Y'all in the hot, hot desert. Show you guys that you can land. Yeah, let's find us a good spot to land. Glad we've seen some sparkles over there. Eh. Let's see. This looks like a good spot. Ooh.
Oh, this Somebody is real hilly. All right. Let's just land right here. Right. Landing complete. There you guys and uh, go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Took our starter ship to another planet, left Hurston. And all is well. You guys have a blessed day in one more thing. Star Citizen for life.